All right, it is Lunch with Scott, episode seven. Yeah, seven, that's a good number. I haven't quit yet. <laughs> Today we are way, way downtown um, on the east side in this park. I forget the name of the park, sorry. It's on Avenue A. They're filming a TV show here. Uh, some kind of scene with police and fake news van and stuff. Doesn't seem that exciting. I asked him what TV show it was, but I'm not gonna tell you because I don't wanna promote their crappy TV show. Um, you know, it's probably just some Law and Order style junk, right? And it's not Law and Order. Uh, anyway, the reason I came down here today is to get my film developed. This is where the good film lab is. Right? I have this camera with me. But this is not, <laughs> I've never, I haven't actually shot a whole roll of film in this camera yet. The film I got developed I shot with other cameras. Anyway, people are probably thinking, Scott, you're like the most cyber person in the universe, right? You're super digital everything. Why are you using film ever? You know, people have asked me that before, but I guess I haven't given the answer to the whole world, so here's, here's the deal. Yeah, digital cameras are way, way better. There is no question. Uh, I mean, even if you can get better quality with some like super old film camera that has ginormous film, like four by five, eight by 10 or something, the convenience of the digital camera just puts it over the top, right? is not a contest. I'm not, you know, I'm the kind of person who says don't use vinyl records. It's bullshit. It is, by the way. Vinyl records are just worse in every conceivable way compared to digital audio. It's recording formats. Uh, there's some fake applause at the, at the TV recording over there. Anyway, why use a film camera? Well, it really comes down to money. And there's two reasons it comes down to money. Money, no, reason number one, it's actually cheaper. This camera, you can get on eBay way cheap. You know, if you want mint condition, you might have to pay a ton of money, but it's like you can get film cameras on eBay for nothing, you can get the lenses for nothing, relatively speaking, like hundreds of dollars at most for really good stuff. And, you know, film is five bucks a roll for 36 shots, you know, and you think, man, but you're paying all this money every time you, you have to develop and shoot, it's, you know, more, and you don't get the photos instantly. It's like, yeah, that's right. Every time you're going to push the button, you're going to think real hard about pushing that button, right? You are not gonna just take a photo without thinking about it. Your digital camera is like boop do 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 shooting like a machine gun, right? But with a film camera, you're thinking about it. So you're you know because you're thinking about it, you're gonna take better photos. You're gonna improve your photography skills, right? If you're using a digital camera, it's much harder to improve your photography skills because you're just shooting without caring. You're not thinking very hard before you press that button, right? It forces you to think, and when you're forced to think, you know the things that were, you know, the things you learned by watching YouTube that were conscious thoughts slowly become, you know, automatic reflexes and then you become good. It takes a long ass time though. Uh, it's been many years since I started and I still suck, but improving, I guess, better than nothing. So the second thing with money is that, like I said, this camera is cheap. The size of a 35 millimeter photo negative is actually pretty big. That's what people call full frame. Some marketing genius came up with the word full frame to make it seem like any camera with a sensor or a film smaller than that is crappy and anything with bigger than that is excessive, right? If we had called medium format full frame, people would all be shooting Hasselblads because they would think that 35 millimeters is too small. And if we called micro four thirds full frame, no one would be shooting 35 millimeter because they'd say it's too big, right? It's just a psychological thing. But 35 millimeter is bigger than micro four thirds, which is what my digital camera is. It's four times as big. If you want a digital camera with a sensor as big as a piece of normal 35 millimeter film, you need to get probably like the Canon 5D Mark III. And that is like a three, over $3,000 for that camera. So if you buy even a $300 film camera with a $100 lens, $400, that, and you, know, you get a discount on the 5D Mark III, you get a used one for $2,800, and it's still $2,000 that you've saved. $2,000 can process a lot of film, right? For you, for that digital camera to pay for itself, right? You would have to take so many good photos with it, right? You now it depends on how good you are, right? Where your hit ratio is gonna be. You know, when people talk about quality and whatever, and it's like, listen, the best photographers in the world can take better photos than you've ever seen using an old iPhone, right? Like an iPhone 3G or iPhone 4. You know, and they could give you the best camera in the universe and you would take crap photos, right? So 
quality isn't isn't an issue, right? Um, like it is with something like recorded audio, where you're not performing, right? It's it's when you're a photographer, <laughs> right? It's like golf clubs, right? It's like you, you can buy the best golf clubs on earth. You're not going to do better at golf unless you're already really good at golf. So the quality difference between the digital and the, the film doesn't matter. However you want to argue it, either way, would you know whichever one you think is better doesn't matter. So that's why I have film cameras I use for photography to improve my photography skills. I still have digital cameras because, you know, sometimes you want to do sports photos, you just need to go rapid fire and, you know, sometimes you're doing video, you can't do video with a film camera, right? Sometimes film camera just doesn't cut it. But if you want to practice photography and get better at it, film camera, right? Especially if you have a place like down here where you can get it developed really nicely. Uh, so that is the end of today's lunch with Scott. That went a little long, six minutes, but I got distracted by barking dogs and uh, TV shoot over there. All right, so I have something else to show you down in this neighborhood actually, but we will wait until I get the film all developed and I come to pick it up. Then we'll, we'll go check out this interesting landmark. All right, have a good day.